I'm running for re-election, so oh, I want to tell everyone about how I created the Bark Park. Oh, yeah. Hi, Virginia. This is my friend Virginia. Virginia. I work with we her. We love your bark. Thank you. And this is my me. daughter, Kendall. Kendall. Thank I'm Bob Weiner. Nice to meet you. And this is Shane. Hello, uh, guys. My campaign team. Hi. I'm Shane. Hello, 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 SPTV. So we got uh, something special for you today. We're going to take a look at the Bark Park in Tally Day. We're also going to explore the paths that go through the woods and the glades around Tally Day Park behind the library. Um, it's more than just the sports facilities there. And Bob Weiner's going to show us all about it. Very, very excited. So thanks again, Bob. We just took a walk from Tally Day Park. And this is what we got to. There's all kinds of pathways that go through fields. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, closing the gate is important for other dogs right now. Come on in, Shane. How you doing? Good, I'm Bob Weiner, your councilman. I know you councilman. are. I know you are. And you are? David Van Wickle. David, thank you for coming to our bark park and supporting us. <laughs> well, we're regulars. Yep. And uh, I'm buddy. Shane. Buddy. James? Shane. Shane. I'm, I'm oh, volunteering for his campaign this year, so oh, doing some of his previous projects, we're kind of oh, doing an overview of what he's done for our community. Well, we used to walk up and down. And because some of the large dogs can be uh, aggressive towards the small parks. Now, originally, this is on one of three farms. Uh, this is Evald Street's farm. You can see his house and his barn are still there. And he had orchards. And this is the remnant of what his orchards were. Evald Street, when my kids were small, we would come over and look at the horses and uh, enjoy the farm animals. And then behind you is the J. Harlan Day farm. And J. Harlan Day was one of the octogenarian kids that grew up on the farm years ago where this wooded area now. And then directly over here is Edith Talley's farm. And we put these collection of farms together. Who would think that we've got three farms preserved on Falk Road and that we had the foresight over decades to plan and develop a community endorsed, community used county park with pathways not only throughout the park, but pathway network that continues and connects to other parks and other destinations throughout our community. This is a doggy water fountain that people can use too for the little kids, the dogs, and Did you say you are Bob Weiner? Yes. Well, I was looking up online because you're building something across from the JCC. I'm not building well, it. I, mean, I voted against it. Oh, you did? Where, oh. Why was your name on the website? It, because so um, it's in my district. Oh, oh. It's so what is district. it exactly? It's well, it a retirement even... village with different kinds of homes for uh, 55 and older community. Well, I qualified for that many years ago. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think you do. Should. You're just a kid. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Welcome to Tally Day yeah, County Park. I <laughs> designed and fought for this county park. The small dogs are over there. Well, the large dogs the small, are there. She's a smaller one. That's you could go either way. So yeah, you're, enjoying, <laughs> you're enjoying the uh, bark park? Definitely. Experience. Yeah. Can you imagine people were against the bark park? Oh, I know something. <laughs> oh, big boy. Because they thought it was a liability. <laughs> and uh, it turned out that we police ourselves. We have the rules. Everyone sure. takes care of their dogs. If a dog gets out of control, then we you take, take it out. out. Yep. Yeah. And we have a maintenance program in the fall and the spring where we have Boy Scouts and honor students come and clean up the park. This is a doggy water fountain that people can use too for the little kids, the dogs. and From one of our furry friends at <laughs> Talladega Bark Park, we wish you a happy visit to Talladega County Park. And as you can see, we're in the midst of an orchard. This was Evald Street's orchard, and we saved it. And now it's at the pivotal point in the center of our county park, surrounded by pathways and woodland. And to all of the folks here at Tallahassee Park, do you enjoy the, the bark park? Oh, absolutely, we love, we love it. Let's say goodbye to Shane. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Gonna leave the loop, inner loop pathway 
and then go into this whole wooded area which was going to be sports fields and it was all going to be torn down but I fought and won to keep it as a wooded connection to our community. So Shane when I designed this pathway loop I wanted to have a natural offshoot that's not paved that takes us down to the creek that allows the natural environment not to be invaded by macadam. And so we're going to get off the main trail and go down to the creek, part of the shell pod, and see how that natural pathway just takes us right along the creek. You'll never know that you're in the middle of suburbia. going to go a different route. Oh no, it's it's here. Oh, we got to get into this. They blocked it for environmental reasons, but we're going to Shane, we needed a stormwater detention facility. We created a beauty that not only serves for stormwater management, but also is a reflecting pool. It's a meditation waterway that creates a moment of solitude along our wooded pathway. As you look over the distance, you can see the Bark Park and also through the, the trees, you'll come upon the Evald Street House. We plant natural grasses and plants to absorb the fact that this is always gonna be a wetlands but it doesn't need to be overgrown and out of control.